number 29. Når låtar. Time to praise some local heroes again. And this time it is the folk fusion group Norlota who started their career as a cultural project to perform and record folk music from the north part of Sweden. Since that folk music from that part of Sweden had been neglected by record companies who recorded folk music from the rest of the country. Their early albums were quite traditional in the sense that they were recorded with typical Swedish folk music instruments like fiddles, harmonium, accordion, double bass and the occasional guitar. The albums recorded for the local record label Manifest sold very well in northern Sweden and they almost sold enough to earn gold records. Um, that's fairly amazing for this kind of music but it only shows how popular they were up there uh, in northern Sweden. In the mid-1980s the group reformed and the multi-instrumentalist Björn Sjö from the rock group Rekyl uh, joined and also the drummer Lalle Ombay. This means that the group started expanding their sound and made three superb albums on the MNW uh, Musiknätet Vaxholm uh, label. I saw several concerts with them and I feel now that they really helped me expand my musical taste with their music. And in the early 90s I had the great luck to get Björn Sjö as a music teacher and my admiration for the group grew even more. In the mid-1990s, the leader of the group, Hans Alatalo, left and that meant that the group were more or less stopped playing, even if I don't think that they have um, officially broke up. Their best album is this one, Känslans Partisan from 1987, uh, probably one of the records that I played most times since it was recorded back then. Yep. 